next with me is Megan's father, Lawrence Pope. Mr. Pope, number one, I've got a daughter. She's only four. I pray to God every night that she grows up to be a fine young lady and that I can be here to help her. And I cannot imagine giving her all my love along with my little boy only to have something like this happen to her. And you got to know that so many people have been praying for your daughter. Um, Mr. Pope, what can you tell us about the incident where she was run down by her fiance's Ford? Well, at, at first, uh, Nancy, um, we didn't want to believe it that, um, that he could run down my daughter and kill her. But uh, after all the evidence and after talking to him personally on the phone and after what he told me, it only seems that um, out, of, out of malice he did this. Uh, uh, what did he without tell a you? Without shadow of a doubt. Um, he told me that uh, his first statement was that he uh, did, uh, didn't know he hit Megan. Uh, he knew he hit somebody and he stopped and turned around. And I told him that couldn't be the truth because my daughter wouldn't let her dogs run loose uh, in the neighborhood. And I told him that he had had to go to that house. And he admitted he did go to that house. Uh, and he admitted that he had hit somebody. And I asked him, I said, it's okay to run over somebody just as long as it wasn't Megan. And he said he just didn't know it was Megan. He said he went to the house and screamed three times Megan's name and she didn't respond. And he knew that he had hit Megan. And he ran and he jumped in the truck and he drove back to the scene and then he called 911. But uh, uh, when you see, uh, he, I asked him if, uh, what was his hurry, why he was speeding through the neighborhood. He said he wasn't in a hurry. He said he wasn't drunk, that um, all that will come back as he's going to be clean, and that makes it even worse. If um, he comes back and he wasn't drinking and, and uh, he wasn't in a hurry, then why would you run over my daughter? And uh, it's just uh, when you come, and I've drove the neighborhood 30 times. I've got up at 6 o'clock in the morning to see how dark it is. Uh, and then when the police officers let me go look at the truck and I saw that her head hit the hood of that truck, I told him he had to see my daughter's face when he hit her. And um, there's no doubt, there's no doubt, no doubt that he did not know that that was my daughter and he knew it was. Well, Mr. Pope, there was, that um, story doesn't even make sense. He, she... I am hearing that in the last hours, yes, some judge, and I'm using that term very loosely, just gave him bond after he runs down your daughter and her unborn baby girl, killing them both. Judge is giving him bond. I don't understand that, Nancy, myself. Um, I'm not sure about the justice system, exactly how it works. Um, but he'll get his due justice eventually here in Henry County. I know that for... I pray for that, and he'll eventually get his justice in, in, uh, with God. And that's, that's our only satisfaction that we have here at all. My daughter laid here on this road dying, and he left her here by herself. And I don't know what you call murder, but that's what I would call murder. Um, he left her here. We don't know how long. We don't know really how long she's laid here by herself.